Hi, this is a demo part. So as we talked before, this demo is to use function compute to implement user registration. So I'm now in the home page of Alibaba Cloud. We need to find function compute here in the elastic computing part. Click on this and we enter function compute. This page show many detail of the service, like uh, in the in this region, like invocations, resource usage, public network usage, and you can find some features, highlighted features here by click on this, and it shows the triggers, function templates, right? Before we create a trigger, uh, create a service, we need to first find choose the region. Now I'm in Shanghai and I can choose US region, right? Click on this and click on this plus to create service. Service name, let's just name it user registration, right? And write some descriptions like implement user registration. There are many advanced settings. We have to choose this, right? Internet access and uh, things like VPC, NAS configures, law configures, low configure. You can find the detail in the handbook. And in this demo, we don't need this. We just click on OK. And as we can see, the service is successfully created. And in this page, it shows the invocations, resource usage of this service. Since we never used this before, it has zero, right? And another detail is basic configurations, advanced configurations. We can edit it, right? Change the description and other thing, right? and advanced configurations too. We can change it. Now we need to create a function by clicking on this plus. It shows the many templates of the runtimes. Function compute support Node.js, Python 2, and uh, Java, right? So we need to choose Python 3 in this demo. There's only one empty function. We choose, we click on select and choose the trigger tab, HTTP trigger, right? And write the trigger name, like uh, user registration. For authorization, just choose anonymous is enough. <clears throat> and the method, as we talked before, we need to get the information of uh, username, password. So choose get host. That's enough. And click on next. So service name, user registration, we just created it. <coughs> created. And function name, we can name it uh, as before, user registration write some descriptions to remind yourself or remind other people implement user registration right and runtime choose python 3 here it shows some code it is it is uh, just a, a template uh, we can change it later and for the memory we only need the list one. Okay, timeout, handler. Okay, right. Let's click on next. And uh, we don't need authorization. Right, click on next. And this page shows the detail of what we did. The service, the function handler, function mode, memory, function information, function name, the region, Python 3 runtime, 
timeout, trigger name, trigger type, and method. All of the things. And uh, after we check it, we click on create. A little bit slow. Then the code. Yeah. If you run the code, the body part will show hello world. And uh, we don't need code. We need to implement user registration. Uh, for sim for simplicity, I just show you the code, right? And uh, I want to give you an explanation of this code to give you a better understanding. Uh, oh, after we pass the code, we need to click on save, to save it, and then to debug it. Let me see, the method is get, and we can add some keys like username, let's set curt123, and uh, another parameter, password, set curt123, 123, combination word, yes, and number, right? We, in this code, we first import JSON, right? and port regular expression. Regular expression is used to extract the information of username and password. And uh, in this function, we first extract the URI information, like this. We extract it from environment. Remember, we talked this before. Environment covers the information of customers, all the information. So we get the URI information, and we need to extract username and password by using regular expression. This URI can be separated to many parts. The first part is before the username equal, this part. And the second part is certainly the username, curt123, between username equal and, uh, and password. Another part we want is password, curt123123, right? We use regular expression, extract these two, and we write response body to get the username, password, and uh, write another thing like status, response headers, star response, right? And finally, we return the response body. So let's debug it by click on invoke. Oh. The status code 200 shows that this code runs successfully. And in the body part, it has shown the username information, the password information. So this is successful. And headers, abstract, logs, you can find some information like this. So this is the demo. Thank you.